Yay! Huh, it took a while. Hey, 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 everyone. How's it going? My name is Joni. This is Weathered Wings, and I'm back to work on our little board here. So, let me, if you remember last week, make sure I'm on, on my page. If you remember last week, I did this, um, I used a stencil, a mesh stencil to create this wood grain look. It was a wood grain stencil by, by Amy Howard. Um, I can't find myself. Let me see if I can refresh. I mean, it's taken me a hot minute to get on here, but it says I'm live. There I am. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to use a transfer today and put on top of here, but I want to show you what I just saw before I came on here and I thought, oh, that would be really good too. But I'm gonna just go with what I had planned. Let me see if I can. Okay. All right, hopefully that's sent. I'm trying to send to my community, um, my texting community, that whenever I go live, I let them know. So if you would like to be notified, you can also um, join my text group. So it's 205. Let me see. I can put it in here real quick. Let me see if I need to put them. Where are my glasses? Please tell me I have my glasses. All right. So let me just put it in here real quick if you want to be notified. If not, 205-255-9496. And that's it. All you have to do is say, hey, let me know. And, you know, you really don't have to say anything. Hey, Danielle, how are you? All right, let's get busy, y'all. But first, let me show you what I was going to do. I'm gonna use the Whispering Willow transfer because it just, I just think it screamed that. But I also have, and this is what the wood grain stencil was like. It was a mesh stencil like this. But look at this one. This would have been so fun, right? It has it's bees all over it. And I'm gonna have to do this again because now I just wanna do this. But here's the transfer, or not transfer, here's the mesh stencil, okay? So it comes, it has a little sticky backing, okay? So it separates and it's mesh. And so you use, I used gel art and you just rub it on. It is so easy, y'all, so easy. But see this one, it's all bees and little flowers. And I thought, oh my gosh, that would have been so cute on top of the wood. In a, in a fun, you know, yellow color or even gold. Even there's a metallic uh, gold gel art. That would have been so cute. Maybe not on the wood for metallic, but anyway, we're gonna go with a transfer. It's something easy. Um, and let me see if I can see. Um, oh, good, thank you, Betty. I'm glad you got it. Hey, Meg. Okay, so I've got the Whispering Willow transfer. I don't know if you're familiar with this. It's one of, um, um, what is her name? I always, um, Grinzer. What's her first name? Dang it, she's the artist. And I always, I, I say it all the time, and now it's skipped, it's skipped my mind. But I'm sure y'all know who I'm talking about. But she has done this one. Um, it's, it's watercolor. It's just beautiful. So what I did, y'all know I always kind of cut them up. So, I'm taking this bird, and I've done something similar to what I want to do before, but I, I couldn't remember. I just couldn't remember how to do it. Uh, and and I, I just didn't have time to go back and watch my video. So I have cut this up, all right? So this comes in, I can't pick it up with these nails. I've got to go have my nails done. Um, so you get in this set, you get all these cute little animals and mushrooms and flowers. But you got two of these um, little green greenery pieces. And so I just cut one up. All right. Cut one up. I also, I'm going to cut that one up too, probably. But that's as far as I got. I don't know what else I want to do. I also have this little piece because he, the little bird, has to have something to sit on. All right. So that's where I'm starting. That's where I'm trying to look to see. How I can do that. All right, so I noticed that these are kind of flowing down, so I kind of want these going down. It was like this, y'all. I think it was all like this. And I just cut it in three different pieces. So, I've got this going up. 
I'm, I'm save this little piece right here because this is the this is it was right here on one of them. So this is what I want it to the little bird to go on to have his little feet resting on. So I'm trying to place it out. And it's really hard to do that when you have the backing on there. Oh, and I sealed this, by the way. All I did was um, brushed on a little bit of the liquid patina by DIY, which is what I use like for uh, my Mod Podge. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Kathleen. Thank you, Marilyn. So yeah, I made it with just a stencil. I made it with just a, a little mesh stencil. It was easy peasy. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. I've got, I'm gonna put this, and I can't pick this up good. This up, maybe right. There somewhere where the bird will sit on. Now where I'm gonna put this, kinda. I just love greenery and birds. Now, if I can incorporate some flowers in here, I'll try. I also thought the um, another transfer that would be beautiful are the roses, the Redow too. There's there's some beautiful like um, long branches with, with like a bouquet that you could put on here. Also, um, Flora Pericianthus. That's the peach rose that was really pretty, and even the. Um, White rose from the brocante transfer would be really pretty too. So there are lots of choices. That's what we always say when we play dominoes. Or do y'all ever play dominoes? I've gotten to where I don't have the patience for it because my family wants to pay, play through every single number, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm done. Um, but that's what we always. That's what my father-in-law always says. And he has Alzheimer's, and so now I just now I just love it hearing that, but he says, we have choices. All right, so they're right there, put my bird. Now, I also, now see how there's some just blank space. You gotta fill that in, all right? So, probably gonna put some more. Um, I'm gonna cut this up and add some more, just kinda coming down under him. All right, so let's go ahead and cut these up. Let's see. Let's see how I want to cut them up. Um, get the mushroom off of there. I'm going to cut this off like this because I think since these are off by themselves a pretty good bit, it might do good to have that like coming. Down maybe here, and then I'll tell you what, let's just get started and then I'll, I'll know. I, I can tell more when I lay something down. This to not come off the board, this there, this. All right, so let's just kind of put it, I'm gonna kind of come over to the left a little bit. Uh-oh, I forgot. I don't I don't see my comments on here. Let me see if I can grab them. I should be streaming on YouTube and Facebook. So, hello, all you YouTube and Facebook people. All right. I'm going to put this one down. You can tell a lot more when you put your transfer, when you take that white backing off. Okay. Put it right there. I hope I hope that was good. <laughs> Don't do. You made the wood grain. Deborah, so, and I'm sorry, I should have brought it down here. It was a mesh stencil like this by Amy Howard uh, Designs. I'll put the link in here when I'm done. But it had the design of wood. So y'all, and I also have a video last Wednesday where I did this. Okay, so I I actually painted the board. Um, with this uh, tan color, all right? And then I dry brushed some white on there. Then I used the stencil with a gray paint. No, 
with a gray gel art, okay? I used, I mean, uh, ink, gel ink, and it was dark gray. And that's what I used in the mesh stencil, okay? Then I sanded it down because it was a little stark, okay? This, uh, the gray. I took a piece um, of sandpaper, actually, just some 400 grit sandpaper, and I sanded the whole thing down. And it muted it down beautifully. I loved it. And so then I sealed it with a little bit of uh, liquid patina. Liquid patina by DIY. Uh, you could use any polycrylic, any type of sealer. Okay. Um, just so, because I didn't know. I'm new to the gel art and the Amy Howard stencils. I didn't know how the transfers would go right over, I think it would have been fine, I do, I think it would have been just fine. But I just wanted to go ahead and seal it just to make sure that my transfer would lay down and I wouldn't be scraping off the gel ink. Okay. This is doing wonderfully. It is coming off really well. Thank you, Meg. There's also a stamp by IOD that's a wood grain, and I really love that too. So, but this was much easier. This was much easier. Um, just because you don't have to worry about uh, lining up the lines or anything with the, like you do the stamp. Okay, that's really good. It's really subtle though. All right, now let's, uh, I'm gonna put this piece, gotta make sure I want my bird in the right place. Okay, and it's gotta be able have his feet. I want him kind of straight up, okay, like that. So that means that little piece needs to be uh, kind of down a little bit from that, like that. Okay, so let me just put that, slide the paper out. <laughs> slide the paper out, dang man. Tell you what, I can't lift these things up. And see, it just, I, don't, I can't remember if it was right on that or not. All right, so let me make sure again. video. Well, I'll just try to look at the comments on here. Oh, Barbara, you're so sweet. Thank you. Hey, Paula. Not too late. Not too late. It's taking me a hot minute to um, figure this out because I want, I've been trying to get my bird on this little branch here. Now, when I take this off, I want to look and see, okay, do I like that? Yes, I do, but I feel like he could have a little bit more greenery um, still behind him. Okay, so, because these transfers go, they go well over each other. So, let me see. These were on here. These are already on this somewhere. So, let's see if I can... Up just a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more in the background. Okay. 
And y'all, there you could add any. This there's a several birds I think in this one, so you could add. Um, I even have a, a red one left over from Christmas would be pretty on this. Let's see if that's enough. I almost got it too close with this table, didn't I? All right, I think that's good, actually. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and put them on there. And put them right on the branch, okay? Let me just make sure he's hanging on good. All right. Now, if you're new to transfers, you know they all come with this little, uh, where am I in the camera? This little plastic stick rubbing tool. And then you just literally rub them on. It is that easy, okay? flowers to this because it is a little um and can y'all even see maybe if I oh y'all can't see that very well can you I was gonna um zoom in wait a minute I have to just move it up a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing There's also some transfers, y'all, that would have fit just perfectly on this, but, and I was going to use it, but then I realized I didn't have any more of them, and I hate to use something that I don't have, because then people are wanting it, and I'm like, oh, I don't have it, um, but it was the Ladies in Waiting transfer set. They have whole sheets that, you know, all the sheets are this size. And I think this is a 12 by 18 panel. It actually came, it's one of the IOD panels. And so, um, it would have fit perfectly on here. And it has um, a flower and just has a bunch of some script. Had a little frog, little butterfly. Oh, that's another thought. You can, oh, oh, I got another thought. Y'all don't let me forget, but I have some butterflies uh, that are 3D that would be cute with this, I think. Okay. Now, save that for either coming... Let's just see. Let's just save that. I've also got these uh, little berries. I've got this. May use that later. I may, you know, I may just kind of peek some in in the inside there. Now let's see. I need something coming to the side. It's cutting, not so much thinking. You can always add, okay, but it's hard, it'd be harder to take off. So that's why I kind of cut them up and add a little bit as I go. Ooh, I think I'll keep that. Just 
see. Any questions? I'm just kind of, hey, Dawn. How goes, hey, Kitty, hey, Joycey, hey, Cindy. Hello, hello. All right, let's see. Just build upon this. Let me just see. Save all the little stems. Save everything, everything. Okay. Um, So cute, but wasn't in the sky. We'll see about this. We'll see about this. These are not, uh, these are not really easy to. I'm just going to piece them together. So let me think a minute. See why I said save all your stems because you may need them. I think I like this just kind of. Maybe I like that better than the big one. We'll see. here with this white on here. I'm telling you. Let's see. Let me just keep cutting it out. I'm just going to piecemeal it in. Let me just take the back off so I can see. I'll bring this down here. I don't want them overlapping yet, but that looks good there. Let me go ahead and get those on. Kathleen. It's a little um, subtle. This background's a little darker than I was thinking, but I do like it. That just means I'm going to have to add a little bit more color, I think, to it, which will be okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like, why does that look so funny? on top of the plastic. You cannot do that. This is 
is a really, really sweet transfer to me. Love it. Just have it keep coming down. anybody new to IOD? Anybody new to all the goodness? You know there's new stuff coming out. So, and you're going to want it, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but <laughs> it's good, y'all. It's really good. right there. I'll hold that. Let me see this. I think that looks good there because that's a big spot. So I think I will just maybe come not quite in the corner, but a little ways down. Or maybe I should go right here. Let me just think about that a minute. No, got to have something up top. Just the right angle. <laughs> Let's just go with it. When will you show the new? Um, it comes out. You know, I think I think I saw a teaser today from IOD because we're supposed to get it um, the middle. Oh, the first of February or middle of February. So they will be coming out soon with just teaser videos. Look on the um. Look on the IOD page, because I feel like I saw something today. Or story. Um, but they're, uh, yeah, they're good. Of course, my favorite of everything are the molds. And one of them, uh, yeah, I'm just, whew, so excited about. Okay, yeah, I love that. Love that. All right. Let's see. Kind of want a little bit more like this. I like that. Maybe just needs to be something long. I think that's good. That may be good for now. I'll have to think about it. Let me look at it. All right, let's see if we can add a little bit of uh, some, some color. I wasn't going to, but I feel like I do need some. Let's see, where's my set? This is all over here. Um, oh, you did see something? It is, Cindy, it's a mesh stencil. It's a mesh stencil, super easy. So I painted it first. I have a video from last week. Um, but I painted it first with the uh, tan color and then dry brushed some white on there and then went back with uh, the stencil in gray, in a gray gel art. I mean, why do I keep saying that? Gel ink, in a gray gel ink. Okay, now. I love these flowers because it has the same colors as the birds, but um, I, just don't, I just don't know if I want to, I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to cut that all completely up because I love that so much. But here's one you have by itself. 
which could be really cute. And again, like I said, there are, oh, I know what I liked. Some of these were pretty too. They're just, they're still really subtle, but coming on top of these uh, would be kind of pretty, I think. What do you think about that? I do like that. Let's see. Because that has that color in the bird, too. Now, do I have another one of those? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I think I used the other one in Creative Junkies. We used the same transfer and did, um, or I did. They, you know, they have choice of using something else. Another transfer, but. Oh, I bet it's over here. Hold on, I've got a little bit more. Y'all, there's so much in this transfer. I mean, you're not gonna be, there's just so much in here. Oh, this little flower I thought was cute too, but it's not the exact same. See, I cut it, I cut it completely up. And you could just add a whole bunch of stuff if you wanted to really get it. Gosh, I kinda like that. This is pretty. Oh, this is what I used on that other one. I cut some out. Here's one. That's pretty. Hello. Any of these would go really good with uh, as a layer. And here's another uh, that matches that. And then you could cut this out if I needed some more of that. So let's see if I can work with this. Sorry, y'all. I just have to think. Let's see. Attitude of gratitude. I love that. Pouring rain here. Ooh, no. Mm, oral surgeon. Ooh, that just makes me cringe thinking about it. I don't like the dentist. Anything to do with my teeth. I do not like it. I don't know what it is. It's when I could even just the smell. I have a really sensitive nose. And when I just go to the dentist, I'm like, what? I don't know. I don't want to cover all that up, but there is a, there is a bunch of space right here that I have stuff for. And if I could get, see, these would be really pretty just coming off the side. They would look like they're just part of that. Move it up. Jazzy is snoring. I hear you, Jazz. what I like to do. I just kind of go around and just kind of like, you know, just see, does it look good here, here, here? And lots, you'll know. It'll, it'll just, you'll know. You'll know. I don't know. But <laughs> I keep going. Why is this not looking right? I want both of them in there. That's why I'm trying to just play around and I don't know if I should just go up. Like that, y'all. I'm gonna do it like that, just straight like that. 
How about that? We'll see. I had a lot more uh, to work with than I thought I did. A lot more background. I'll save that too. Um, I do too, Debbie. What did you put on the top of your board? Yes, it's a mesh stencil uh, by Amy Howard. I used it last week. If you um, saw my video last week, um, it's on there. It's easy peasy. But I did paint some colors on first just because I just thought it needed some color. You know, you could have used, I could have used like a tan color, a tan, I didn't see one though. That's why I painted it tan. I, a tan uh, chalk paste or gel ink would have worked. Any colors, I usually though, when I do a wood grain anything, I like to use three different colors, like a gray, a tan, and a white. You can even use a little, what do you call those little brushes? Now, I lost my train of thought. Chip brushes. You can even dry brush those three colors and get, and make it look wood grainy without either one, but it just, the stencil was just too easy. See, that looks really good. I don't know if you can tell that, but that looks really good. Just kind of coming off to the side. A few of these leaves, so it looks like all of that is one piece over there. And I even could, uh, even could have just a little bit more. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. But I gotta make sure they look right, and not these that I just cut off, okay? So. What it is about this, I love doing this. Now, I also have this other big one over here, so I may just look at that too. Let's see. Just a little bit. And I probably want it somewhat similar of a um, direction, right? something else on there. Let me cut that off. Can y'all tell I have too much fun with this? <laughs> I know y'all probably saying, would you just hurry up? doesn't go, so you have to just be... Let's just see right here. I know y'all are saying, hurry up. I love her too, Karen. I mean, her, I just love her style. She's got some beautiful things. And I used some of her stuff a long time ago and just kind of forgot about her. Um, but I used like some of her, her, her white wax was the first white I've used. Actually. Now I don't even think she has that anymore. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's see. Do I want to keep with those colors? Because if so, see, I still have this. This one as well. And you can uh, incorporate. I do like that. These are a little bit darker. I could also use this if I wanted to use another flower. Something a little different. I 
These seem somewhat different because they're little, these are, aren't as thin. There's a difference. There's a difference. Oh, my feet are cold. I'm just barefooted. My feet are numb. They're cold. So, I'm trying to thank y'all. And it doesn't have to be much. I don't want it to be the same, but maybe the same color. No. Are y'all giving me suggestions? Did you try any of that reddish leaf behind, beside the bird? That would be good. It does need something there, doesn't it? Need some more greenery or something. Let's see. I don't think I have any more of that same one, but let's see. Make sure I don't have any more. There's a little pink flower. Okay, so this, yeah, this is not. I sure would like to add one of these flowers. But I would have to really cut it up, and that's kind of too close to the same color, but. All right, let me see. look good, Karen. It's a little bit different, but it's okay. How about that? What do y'all think there? Hey, Liz. Hey, hey, hey. Perfect by the bird's buff. All right, so right here, I like that too. I like it. Let's go with it. Y'all need to join me when I do those mystery box, box, box things. Well, you probably do. I just can't think or hear when. Those are funny though. I said I was going to do a fireball shot, but then Tammy went and did it. I did have Ralph on standby though. I'm just gonna come do that over. So y'all can see it further away better. And that's another thing, y'all. When if you get stuck, oh, that looks good. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Um, just push it, you know, like put it up against the wall and like stare at it for a little while. And you'll your eye, you'll see where you're missing something. Just, I think that's enough. But I was gonna see if one more little. I think that's good. I think that's good. Oh, let me not lay that right there. All right, let me hold it out and see. I don't know. I still feel like I need a little bit more. What do y'all think? It's not quite so exposed. That's right. Yes, Danielle, they sure are. Oh, my gosh. I can't even describe how shaky I get for those things. It's just crazy. I really wish I could use these in here too. I mean, that's just such a pretty, you know, it brings out both colors. But I actually cut some of these out. And I don't want to get too cray cray with the different things. Sometimes this takes me a little while to kind of finalize the whole thing because I feel like when I hold it up, I feel like there's too much going up right here. I maybe should have kind of come down more and I would have noticed that if, like maybe I should have come down. But this was on that, so I couldn't have done that. But let's see. These are, this, 
these are the same thing, but I have some more. Hold on. That's the thing. There's just so many of these things. Just have them in a little cocoon. Just feel like something was off here. I do want to do an, another one and try the all oh, this B mesh stencil all on top. I think that would be really cool. different things. I like that. But, let's see. But that one little piece went over his tail right there. That's okay though. I'll see if I can... Now you just start playing. Did you put anything on the board first? Hey, Janice. Janice, I, uh, yes, I did. I put paint and a stencil. What happened to his feet? His feet are right here. Right here. This is one of the stencils that has feet on the birds. So he's on this little, um, doodah there. That's good, but it's gonna have to be Yeah, and I did the board last week. So uh and let it let it all dry and then I did seal it with some uh liquid patina. Oh I forgot, totally forgot about this little this little cluster. I just think it's good. I don't know. Just haven't used it. I don't know where to put it. I want to use it. Y'all know I want to use it. <laughs> Just keep picking it up. <laughs> okay, Liz. I don't know. What did you ask? What happened to us? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, y'all know some of those Christmas transfers or he, um, they didn't have any feet. I was really irritated because I was like, why are there no feet? I don't know, y'all. I don't want to just be talking and keep adding too much. I think that's enough. I just don't think I need to use that. I'll just save that for something else. And I will look at it from afar and see if I do need to add something else. I feel like maybe just one more. Not this whole cluster, but... Oh, wait. Here we go. Maybe some of these. off. I got me thinking he was exposed now. Oh, 
Linda, you're at the airport. You keep going to these fun places. Um, yeah, I don't know. It may be that the internet at the airport, but Facebook does, you know, they've been doing that to me anyway lately. But yeah, I painted it. Actually, I painted it a tan color and then dry brushed a little white. And then I stenciled with gray ink, gray gel ink. And then, oh, that made a world of difference to me, y'all. And then I, um, oh yeah, I love that. Okay, I think I'm good now. That, I don't know what was bugging me there, but something was bugging me there. All right, so, I think that's all I wanna do. Let me think about it a minute. What are the options? What else can we do? You can always, um, you can, now normally for transfers, I like to seal them uh, with a polyacrylic or a liquid patina. Let me see where the, I don't wanna lose the backing for that. You always wanna keep your backings. I've got stuff everywhere now. And one side, y'all, one side is sticky, like, and one side is not. So one side, this will stick to, so you don't even want to be careful. All right, now, because it's, like, woodsy feeling, I don't think I want to add, like, any, normally I think, okay, do I want to add any sheer bliss? Do I want to make the bird shiny? Do I want to make these little red things shiny with the sheer bliss? But I don't think so. I think I just like it like this. Now, I'm gonna seal it with, I'll just go ahead and seal it again with liquid patina. Um, normally, I would use, let me think about it. Do I have any out here? I really like Paint Couture's, uh, do I have enough? I like Paint Couture's uh, top coat. I don't think that's enough. But I'll just use this, liquid patina. It doesn't have a shine to it. I don't want it real shiny. Is this brush good? Use this one again, I think. So your transfers do need to be sealed, okay? And you seal them with, um, you know, any kind of polycrylic, Mod Podge, something like that, or resin. And if you get through, if you seal your piece and you're like, oh shoot, I wish I would have added this transfer on there. Well, you can. Oh, y'all let me forget I was gonna do something. <laughs> I wanted to add, and I can still do it when I'm done. Let me just seal it. But really, if you, um, because the transfer, ooh, the transfer would go over this really nice. So this is what I did before I put the transfer down, I didn't do it on here, but I did uh, lay it down. And then it dried, and then I put the transfer on top of this. They do recommend sealing before you put your transfer on, but I normally don't. Uh, because, you know, I've always just used DIY paint, and I know when it's dry, and I know it works fine. But since I used this gel ink, I didn't, I just wasn't sure. I wanted to be sure. So I sealed it. It did great. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking it would do, but just want to make sure. And we'll show you what I may put on here when it dries. I'm surprised there are no little butterfly stickers. I mean, stickers, transfers. <laughs> I'm calling them stickers. I was in my booth one day and this lady came in. I don't think she, she didn't know it was my booth. And she was like, are these those tacky stickers that <laughs> you peel off or something? And I was like, these are not stickers. <laughs> that was funny. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. That's all you had to do. This, this dries quickly and 
it will dry. You see it's kind of shiny, but it will dry uh, matte. It dries matte. So actually, you know, DIY has the big top for their polycrylic, and it's pretty shiny. So a lot of people who don't like that shine will put this on top of the big top. The big top's a little bit more uh, sturdier. Um, I'm sorry, this was dripping. And so uh, they'll put this on top of the big top just because they don't want it shiny. You can also, after this dries, wax it. And you can add, gosh, you can add pigment powders to your waxes. So if I wanted to add some more color on here, that's probably what I would do. After this dries, I would wax it with clear wax, add a little bit of pigment, you know, um, I don't know what color. I probably won't do that, but I'm just saying you could. But see how cute that is. That looks really good, right? Let me, oh, let me go this way. There's our bird. And see, there's his feet. Okay, now, Oh my goodness, what was that? Okay, this is what I wanted to do. Ooh, these, le these leaves, these uh, sleeves are not conducive to this project, painting. I thought I was just doing stenciling. Okay, so I've got all these butterflies. Now they're big, but I've got some little ones. Let's see these. Now I would paint them, but see these are molds and I just kind of bent them up. Y'all seen me do that before, I think. You t I use the, um, mm, the fast cast resin and then when I take them out immediately, I bend them so they'll be 3D and then I tape them. See the fast cast is white and they're this color because I put some pigment in my mold, but I would paint that and um, that's a little big, but how cute would that be? Actually, I kind of like that color. Look, it matches the, um, oh, y'all can't even see. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Why is this, why? Because I have my camera not angled right. For heaven's sakes, I'm so sorry, y'all. Y'all just been looking at half the project. Dang. Um, dang it, and I usually use these videos to kind of make a fast video for you guys, and now that's probably not gonna happen because that was messed up. Uh, not good angle, but I was trying to show you this color is really pretty. It matches the color that's on the bird pretty much, but I would still get him a little, he's a little, uh, dull, dull is the word I'm looking for, dull. Uh, oh, shoot, <laughs> y'all. Y'all, I had gold leaf, so there's gold, I gold leafed, um, a project today and when I got through I was on a in a meeting I had gold leaf down in my coffee cup now it was a coffee cup like this where there's a lid on it I don't know if y'all can see and when I took the lid off <laughs> there was there was a gold leaf down in there um but anyway so where would y'all put him or would you even put him I think I do want to put him on there I think he's cute as he could be I don't know what color. Um, you know what I'll do? Let's just put a little sheer bliss on there and see what it does. Cause I like that color, but let's just get him a little, little sheer indigo. Here's sheer bliss. Let me just show you what it does. And if I don't like it, I'll um, paint over it. Okay. You know, you gotta, if you get any of these metallics from Paint Couture, you have to um, stir them up because the goodie is at the bottom. Always uh, compare it to a salad, you know, when you, I love to get down to kind of like the bottom of the salad where all the goodie has just kind of fallen in there. You got bits of, I don't know. I, I love big salads. I put strawberries and raisins and, <laughs> sunflower seeds, green pepper. I just throw it all in there. And then I just love when I get down to the bottom and still got some of all that in there. But that's what makes it shine, okay? Because it's the mica powders. It's got mica powders down in there and they will settle to the bottom. So you need to get all those brought back to the top. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me see if I can get it in the light, okay? 
So let's just paint this little. Honestly, I think I can uh, glue him on first. Let's just draw this just a tad. I'm gonna turn down my heat gun because I don't wanna, you know. Honestly, you only need it in the like middle because the other part's not even going to touch. Yes, you can resin over sheer bliss. I'm not sure how shiny it will be, um, but you can. But you can, but you can. Uh, you should, Karen. It should be, uh, uh, what did I call it? Y'all, this, this, mm, there is some stuff on here from, dang it. I hate when, uh, look at that. Oh, there it goes. There's glitter from Saturday that, uh, I want blue glitter on there. I just feel like he should be flying down, right? I'm trying to think, where that, well, that other one's green? Y'all tell me. Um, hey, Nancy, up in the middle, middle, follow the bird's sight line. Well, the bird's eye is like right here. I don't think he's actually looking at the bird, at the butterfly. I know it kind of looks like he might be, but I don't think he is. <laughs> well, this is hard. Up. Which side? Like right here? Let's see. I kind of like it like right there. What do y'all think? Because right here, he's flying into the bird. Right here, he could just be in the flowers or kind of playing around. Oh, you have them? Oh, good, Nancy. Good, good, good. All right, I'm just going to drop it right here. Um, just going to put it, yeah, right here. Hold it for a minute. See, that dried quickly. And actually, I've got glitter. So, there was glitter. The reason there's glitter is because I had a lot of butterflies in there. It has a lot of glitter on there. And uh, that's why. So, let's, um, let's put a little sheer bliss. On the butterfly, and I can still move him if y'all um if y'all think that's not good. Is that good? Should, should he be going up, or is it good that he's coming down? I kind of want him at an angle, I think, not straight down. All right, let's uh let's put a little sheer bliss on him. So actually, this was this was a metallic gold mica powder that I put in the mold, but 
it's not gonna for some reason when you use a uh, fast cast resin or any resin really like in the mold it doesn't it's not gonna come out metallic this brush is terrible I'm throwing it away but I think if I'm not mistaken I think you can uh, paint it like this and it gets comes back to life maybe not we'll see if not I like the color that it is Kind of a golden yellow. And this has to dry. You can't see it until it dries, really. But can y'all see the shimmer in here? I don't know if you can see it. And then you could add, you know, I love to add glass glitter to these molds. I don't think this one needs glass glitter. Just, again, it's kind of woodsy, fun, being cute in a kid's room. I made a whole set of art using this last year and by the time I got finished it was time to do Christmas stuff almost so I've got all that ready to go in my booth it's a really fun group grouping I should say it's a grouping All right, how's he look there? Does he look okay? Let me see if I hold it up and I'll. Um, top right side, I like him there. Okay, all right, so I'll leave him there. Show him to you because he's not gonna, I'll see if I can stick, uh, dry him just a bit. And then y'all could even frame this if you wanted. But let me tell you, okay. Oh, that looks good. It's looking good, okay. So it actually does bring it back and it's kind of, it does kind of look metallic-y now. So you see, he's still not dry, but it will be, um, it'll be nice and dry. All right, now let me ask you about this. So if this, um, a lot of these transfers are really transparent. So you see how you can kind of see the background through the bird. Now if that bothers you, um, you can always use a little wax. I think it's, you know, this is ready to, uh, this is dry enough to wax. You can always use a little clear wax and then a little, uh, you could use white wax or you could use some uh, mica powders in the wax. But if you wanted to kind of cover that up, you could even paint it, y'all. Paint works good. That's white. Let me put some clear on it first. Let me just show you that just in case you ever do that and you're like, oh shoot. Now look, if I had used like a, let's say I used a black background, okay? And then I put this bird over it he may have looked a little black under there, right? Because I can see a little bit of the um, of my background. So if you take just a little bit of wax, okay, like, just where he's the most transparent, which is just really right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take my white wax, just a little bit, just, it does not take much. I'm just going to dab it in. These are DIY waxes. 
and you can just start. So remember, wax is last. So you see, I um, you see, I uh, sealed it with the liquid patina, and then you can add some wax, colored wax, anything like that. But just um, make sure that's last, because if you, if I did this first. If I did this first, I couldn't go back and seal it because it just would not seal over the wax, right? All right, so I'm just gonna tap this, that, this in there and it just kind of makes it a little bit more opaque and can't see through it. And I could go over this entire bird and change its colors with, with waxes or enhance the colors. And look, right down here, I didn't put any clear wax, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add some white, white uh, wax. If I, you can always add a little clear wax to take some back off. And just kind of blend it in. I'm just kind of doing it in spots where I see wood grain. It's a little much. I've got a little too much. Let me wipe some off. And then this will dry. There. Oh, love it. All right. Well, let me know if you have any questions, okay? And I'll be sure to come back. I'm going to have to get my, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of little, well, my fingernail's working fine. Um, this, no, it's not eight by 10. That's why I, I, I kind of was thinking it was. And as I was doing, I was like, oh, I got a lot more background than I think. I think it is a 12 by 18. Because I say that because that's what these transfer sheets are and it's the same, but let me check for you. What'd you do today? Thank you, Meg. What'd you do today, Debbie? All right. Yep, 12. Wait a minute. 12 by 16. Excuse me. 12 by 16. So I don't know why I was, I thought these were 12. Nope, they say 12 by 16. I was mistaken. So 12 by 16. So look look close to the bird now. Oh wait, okay, see there, I've just got some wax added. There we go. And you can, um, you can keep building upon that. Different, uh, now I just used a white wax, but I'm but I'm telling you, if you got any of those making powders, pigment powders, mica powders, you just take a little bit of your clear wax onto you know a little piece of cardboard or a plate, and you just mix in a little of your powders. Oh, I got my tops wrong. Oh, they both have white. Oh well, I think that's right then. And then you know, like like if you had a gold mica powder. You could add that with the clear and then come back on top of the bird right there and give him some little gold, you know, you know, gold, just a little hint of gold right there would be fun. And if it was on a different background, something a little more fancier, you could also add some gold leaf on it. So just all kind of, oh, let me show you real quick though, what we also did with this transfer. So we did the, uh, glass cross on top of the same transfer. We just used that bigger piece. This is what we did in the um, Creative Junkies. And so that's why I was saying I added a few of these to this one big piece and then we added resin. But, and so you can go back, I kept it simple with the glass cause uh, well, a lot of people hadn't used the glass, but you can also, I usually resin my pieces twice. So, once you resin it one time, if you, like if I decided I wanted to add some crushed glass on top of this or in here somewhere, 
You can do that and just pour it again. Pour the resin again. So, you're never stuck with what you've got. You know, if you think you've messed up, there's always something you can do. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let me see. Um, Could see through my... Oh, you could see through it, Debbie. Oh, okay. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Kitty. Uh, So, you added wax. Is that what you did? Or paint? A lot of times I use paint, y'all, and just... Paint it, touch it up, especially if it's like a green, like a leaf or something like that because I've got several DIY greens that just match perfectly. But I really love how that did. I really love that. That looks really good and actually gives them a little texture. Um, yeah, I love that. I'm sitting here thinking, hmm, I would like to do the whole bird, you know, like that. But I'm not. I'm going to be done. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I never know when to stop. I never want to stop, you know? Um, what's that saying? Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Karen. Um, what's that saying where, uh, now I forgot what I was even saying. Oh, I'm never, you're never, art is never finished. It's just abandoned <laughs> or something like that. I think I saw that quote somewhere. I was like, well, I don't ever feel like I'm abandoning, abandoning a piece. I just kind of, you know, let it be done. But I love this. I love this. I love how it turned out. Let me know if y'all have any questions. And again, I'll, this was a mesh stencil, so I'll put the link in there. I think I may have messed it up, though. Um, so when you use these mesh stencils, again, um, let me just show you one. This was the bees. This is a bee. Ugh, I don't know what it's called. But anyway. So they come with this plat, this sticky backing, and you gotta wash them. As soon as you use it, just stick it in some water. They're not hard to wash. All right, so see, it's, it's sticky like this. Well, after I took it out of the sink, uh, I laid it down on the sticky side. Didn't realize it. Um, so it was on my countertop, and when I pulled, <laughs> Like I pulled it off of the countertop, um, it left some of the glue on the countertop. So, of course, I had to get my goo, goo gone stuff and, you know, get it off. So, I don't know if it's uh, actually going to stick again. We'll see. But anyway, this is what it was. It was just a wood grain. Yeah, I know. Look at this bee. Would not, I just thought that would be so cute on top of this, on top of the wood grain. That's something I haven't done yet as far as... I like to layer different patterns, and I thought that would be super cute. It's the exact, uh, well, I don't know. It does have a little trim on it, but super cute. I love that. Um, that's it, y'all. I think I've kept you long enough. Let me know um, if you love the bees. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no, Karen. I think I did. I need the colors you put on the board and what you taint, what, what you what time, what you ran through the stencil. Okay, well, I used the gel inks. So, hold on, let me see if I can grab it. All right, so for the background, I used a little bit of Sandy Blonde. I have to go watch the video. I think I used Sandy Blonde. I think that's all I had. Uh, but that looks pretty dark for Sandy Blonde, but I, I think that's what it was. Um, and then I used, then I dry br brushed some beadboard. White beadboard, just white. Just a little, took a chip brush. I'll send you the video but a chip brush and made a little bit of some white streaks in it, okay? And then I use, now you gotta use, a, in the mesh stencils, you know you have to use, you know this though, Karen, you have to use the uh, inks or the chalk paste, but I used to hold your horses, and it actually was, uh, it was a little dark, it was a little, it was almost black, Okay, it says it's gray. So I don't know if you, I don't know if you will love that. Uh, I mean, I do, but what I also did was sand it. When I got through, I sanded it. 
and you'll see, you'll, you can see in the last video that it's, it's pretty dark, okay? And the reason, one reason is because is the DIY paint dries so much lighter. You know that too. It dries a lot lighter. And so it was, it had a really, you know, stark contrast between this, this ink and the paint. And then once I top coated it, the sandy blonde came back to the darker color. So that's why it looks, it just looks better. And then when I sanded it, it knocked it down some too. So, um. So that's it. And, if, you know, if you don't have these molds, these 3D molds, you don't need it. Or, or just a butterfly. Tons of those, and those would be cute. I also have the little crown. Crown on the bird would have been cute, too. Uh, on the transfer, there's some crowns. Okay, I hope that helps. Honeycomb under would be nice. Hey, Sherilyn. Um... You have a lot of the mesh stencils. Okay. Um, thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. Debbie used resin. Hey, Jill. How goes it? All right. Oh, you want to go back and do the cross. All right. Well, tomorrow, you know, we're doing another cross, Karen. Um, and But we're not using glass. You can use glass, but we're going to use uh, another medium. Okay. So, I hope this was helpful, y'all. Let me know if you need anything, and thank you 